Hi everyone, this is Dave and welcome to a new video on the Geek and Noise channel. In today's video, I've got two gaming pack packs very kindly sent in to me from Genesis. They were sent in free of charge for this video. No money's exchanged hands. They haven't asked me to say anything in particular. I'm just going to share with you my opinion. And the two backpacks I've got is the Palad 500 and also the Palad 550. They are similar backpacks with respect to that they will accommodate a 15.6 inch or even a 17.3 inch gaming laptop and obviously smaller laptops than that as well. And they've got lots of dedicated pockets plus internal storage for headphones. Uh, let's take a look at the Palad 500 first of all. I've left the swing tag on because it gives you a nice look at the backpack loaded up with gear. It really has got some fantastic uh, capacity in here with six dedicated pockets. We'll start by looking at this front pocket. Really nice zips, nice design to these as well. You can tell they're gaming laptops because of the colorway. But inside this front pocket here, we've got netted area. We've also got a little sort of a ring or split ring for your keys. We've got various organizational pockets here for all of your accessories, an additional zipped pocket with a netted area. It's really well laid out. So nice capacity in that front pocket. And then if we go back one, so it's like a layered design on this, and we open up this next section back. Here, we could easily store something like a tablet, for example, uh, or you could put in just some additional accessories. Really nice uh, sort of second layer to this particular backpack. And then if we go one more section back, this is where we've got really good capacity, plus, that headphone compartment as well. So you can actually hang your headphones from this top loop. We've also got a pocket here where we could put something like an external keyboard. We've even got a pocket on the flap that dropped down with a little Velcro enclosure. So really nice uh, sort of third layer to this backpack. I like the way they do uh, the layering on these. Now on the side, we've also got some additional pockets. We've got a top one just here which is quite small, but you could fit some earphones in there, something like that, or perhaps a mouse. You've got an additional pocket on the bottom here. Again, big enough to accommodate something like a mouse. And then this is mirrored on the opposing side. So we've got some additional pockets on this side. And then of course, you've got the main compartment, but you've also got this additional little zipped area right at the very top. Uh, this little zipped area opens up and allows you to gain access into this top compartment. Now for me, I would use this for accessories I need to get to very easily. Things like earphones, for example, when I'm traveling. And then we've got this big section at the top here, which is gonna accommodate your laptop. And as I mentioned, up to 17.3 inches. It's got some really good foam padding in there, gonna keep your laptop nice and safe. And if we look around the back of the backpack, We've got some nice padding to the shoulder straps, plenty of adjustment here as well, plus these foam pieces on either side. This not only gives extra comfort to the backpack, but also sort of raises it away from your back a little bit so that you don't get sort of a sweat build up there. So really nicely thought out. A really large backpack, but really uh, sort of well designed. I do like this a lot. Moving on, we've got the Palad 550. Again, just a quick look at the swing tag there for you. This uh, shows you some of the backpack full up with various bits and pieces. This is a slightly off black design, so it's like a slate gray color. Again, with the red highlights, looks really nice. This has got slightly different zips. These have got like these uh, sort of pull ties on the zips, which makes them really easy to open. We've got this additional pocket on the front, which you can just slip your hand in to get into this front area. This is really nice for easy access. That's sort of instead of that top section on the previous backpack I showed you. And then we've got a similar layer design, uh, but a little bit different on this one. If I just open this section here, here we've got the sort of main compartment. Uh, this has got plenty of pockets on as well. We've got the headphone hanger at the top, which is a really nice thing. We've got a netted pocket. We've got two additional pockets down here, one for batteries, one for your mouse. And then on the back of this uh, pocket that I've folded down, we've got a split ring for your keys, 
and we've got lots of zipped pockets and organisation in there. So a really nice central section to this gaming bag. Again, we've got some nice pockets on the sides. These could be used for extra accessories and they're mirrored on the opposing side as well. I'll take you for a quick look around the back on this one straight away. Really do like the design of the back of this backpack. A shame you don't get to see it too often. We've got the padded areas again, really nice shoulder straps and plenty of adjustability. And then we've got the main section at the back here. Let's just open this up. Now it does fold all the way down. Uh, this is where you're gonna put your sort of external keyboard perhaps, your gaming laptop itself. You've got the two pockets just in here. Uh, and also some extra accessories can fit in this back section, but it's primarily for your gaming laptop and your keyboard. Really nice design. I like both of these backpacks. They've got such a big capacity and they're really well made. They feel very, very tough indeed. If I was to pick up on one thing, I find that these little pull bits on the zips do get in the way a little bit on the Palad 550. Uh, it's not a deal breaker, but I did think I should, should mention that. When I'm zipping things up, they seem to get a little bit in the way of each other. But other than that, they do get my thumbs up. I've left links to where you can actually pick these up for yourself down in the video description area, so please do check out those links. And if you enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in another video very, very soon.